right guys well today i got some exciting news this is my 2010 ford ranger sport 4x4 and it's a uh, five-speed automatic super cab four liter v6 i'll try the engine uh in a minute but but yeah this is my truck it's the truck only has a hard end well, like when I bought it, it was a uh, hundred and eighty-nine thousand kilometers, and now it's at hundred and ninety-one. So I, I put in about maybe a thousand or two thousand. I'm not too sure, but yeah. All right, let's show you what I've done to this truck. So uh, for, for some reason, this Ranger here, it had all kinds of stickers here. Like it said, sound like like uh, Ford, no, like Ron Motors, uh, Ontario Highway 21 or something like that. So I took those off with uh, a heat gun and just moved the stickers with a, um, a pick, like a guitar pick. But I kept the Ford on just cause it looks pretty cool. So now it says <laughs> Ford Ranger. Uh, nothing to the front, so it's pretty much stock. I am gonna do a Ford logo so you can see it's a bit faded but oh i'm also getting new fog light you can see it's a bit uh, cracked so i have to get a new uh, fog lens or or new fog, fog light from a scrap yard or somewhere where it's a good shape but yeah uh i did to the back i uh, put a, a sign saying this <laughs> i'll go level one and try something <laughs> yeah um I, I didn't notice this little spot here it's like bleached or something but but again it's a truck so it does like you know there is gonna have you know a bit of like a bent or something just because it's, it's a used truck like you know it's not like a brand new truck or anything but yeah Let's see on this side as well I got this window tinted to the same as the back. So these two are exactly the same. Same on the driver's side. And yeah. Um, but yeah, let me show you the interior of it. It's just pop, pop inside. Okay, here's my interior. So you see it's a black and gray cloth interior car on the side we got your power locks power mirrors so you can just adjust, adjust from here power mirrors which the unfortunately the uh the old thing is power is just the front uh windows like the front side mirrors because unfortunately this window doesn't roll it down but you do have a seat post in there, I'll show you in, in a bit, but, but yeah, access from there. Um, you do have your line controls right here. So you have uh, off, running, outside, so even because the lights are on, but they have running, running lights, uh, full lights. I mean, you got uh, your headlights on, your taillights on, and stuff like that. Fire lights, fall out fog lights yeah here's your interior lights this is where you can adjust uh your, your dash lights like your dashboard here pop inside <coughs> so here you can adjust the slider here for adjusting the uh, dash uh, uh, lights so pretty much all this turns on uh, green and red and it's yeah it's pretty sick so basically on the facing steering wheel, you got the cruise control. So press on and off, just set. So when you're cruising, then you just press set. Then the light on the dashboard tells you it's on, it's green. Uh, you can adjust your speed when, when you have the cruise control on, like, you know, standard stuff. I think this is the reset button. I'm not really too sure, but yeah. Come out to the side here, we got your, uh, Oh, it's out of focus, come on. Four-wheel drive. I'll show you that in a sec, but 
yeah. Uh, here's your, uh, I don't know, your smoky thing. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but I am going to use something out of this because apparently you can get a, a charger adapter or something. So, yeah, pretty nice to have. <laughs> uh, pretty much, this is pretty much like old school, eh? Like, you got your old school, like, fans here and temperature direction of the fan how off for now your stock radio unfortunately i can't turn on the radio because i'll get copyrights but it does work pretty well am fm auxiliary so if you want to use your phone you just plug one end here but in this case i have a bluetooth uh, receiver just so there's not much cables in the way pretty dope uh here's your tuning for changing your radio stations uh your menu uh cd player your set this is my charging cable here and uh oh here's your uh, traction control so you press that button to, to turn off traction control press that on again to turn it on cup holders your uh center console i got lots of stuff in there <laughs> and then you push this out for another seat so now you can have one, two, three passengers, and then there's two in the back. Two, like, jump seats. Uh, here's your glove box. I haven't got much in there, but it's pretty much all my insurance and everything's in there, so, yeah. Uh, here's the rear view mirror. Sun visor. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a mirror, but that's fine. Just push it like that. <laughs> Same on this side, you know, pretty standard. Uh, what else? Oh, you have a trip meter. Uh, here's your um, five speed automatic here with the all drive. All drive is it basically all drive, it has another gear. Basically, when you're on the highway, you press the button and it uh, turns on the all drive uh, for you. When you're cruising on the highway, you don't want to waste too much gas. Just press that button to uh, add another gear and the uh, RPM will go down to like one or 1,000 or around 1,000 RPM. And yeah, but yeah, it's, it's your fuel gauge, the temperature, the, the engine of the temperature, RPM, speedometer. Yeah, like I said, this. Mm, that's pretty much it. Pretty much is the basic interior. But yeah, let me uh, fire it up for you. See, I wasn't lying. See, I only has 191,000 kilometers on it. And 69. Yeah, let's fire it up. Oh, nice. Fires are no problem. But yeah, you can see if you press this trip meter here. And that's about it. Just trip and about the total kilometers when the guy got it. Uh, yeah. But uh, let me show you the full drive option. It's pretty sick. So what you do is you put it in neutral, just for safety, and then just flip this to four high, like this. The full drive comes on, and then just put it in drive. And yeah, you're, you're in full drive. Yeah, and then if you want to use the, and if you want to put it back on too high, it's the same thing, it's neutral. Sorry, my camera just came out of focus. Sorry about that. Let's put it back on too high. And you see, full, full by four indicator is gone, so that means we're in uh, two-wheel drive. Drive, and yeah, that's about it. Pretty nice truck, not gonna lie, for 2010. So, yeah. Uh, let's show you my exhaust and then the engine. Show you my exhaust. Here's a stock exhaust. I haven't done anything to the buffalo yet, but I'm thinking maybe get a new buffalo, maybe 
once this old one's gone out or something, maybe. Pretty quiet. So, yeah. Anyway, let me pop the hood and show you the engine. It's a little lever huge. This motor is a 4 liter V6, like I mentioned. Oh. There you go. Fully a single head pack can V6. It has a 207 horsepower. Pretty good for uh, you going off roading or whatever you want to do with it. it does have the power to uh, get speed and going on the highway and stuff. So it's got all the all the power you need. And so you got all the oil stuff here. Like brake fluids, oxygen fluid, so they pretty much got everything topped out when I got it. So, yeah. Got my battery and stuff like that, so, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna close the hood now. Gotta be careful. <laughs> there we go. Hood's all the way down, no problem. And yeah, that's about it. Oh shoot, one thing I forgot to show you is this. Little jump seats in the back. So it does have seat belts, right? So you just pull this down. <coughs> Little jump seat. I guess some uh, people that I don't like can, can just sit back here. <laughs> And yeah, anyways, thank you all for watching on this uh, video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.